wireless thermostat kit made by Honeywell. Today we're installing Honeywell's wireless thermostat kit. We've got a commercial rooftop package unit here. And then I've got one here that we're going to be installing this kit on. And the reason we're doing this is because instead of relocating the thermostat wire and the thermostat, which is hundreds and hundreds of feet of wire, we're going to be able to do this faster, easier, and cheaper with the Honeywell wireless thermostat kit. And we're also going to be using a Red Link internet gateway to be able to connect via Wi-Fi so that the customer, the homeowner, is able to control this equipment when they are away. If you have any questions, drop those below. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. These are the two wireless thermostat kits that we have. This right here is the Red Link Gateway System. This is gonna allow us to connect into the existing router and be able to control with our smartphone, our tablet, or our computer. See that view and control Red Link thermostats from a computer, smartphone, or tablet. Red, Red Link Internet Gateway. This right here is the wireless thermostat kit, and you can see there's a return air sits sensor. There's a little board here, equipment interface module, and this right here is our thermostat. We're able to choose a different location for the thermostat now, and we don't have to relocate and run a whole new thermostat wire because this building is quite large and the ceiling height is well above 20 feet. So to begin the installation process, we're gonna remove the panel where the thermostat wires hook up from the thermostat to this equipment's control board and then we're going to take the return air panel off so we can not only mount our new board that's going to be connected to our wireless thermostat but also it's going to be connected to our return air sensor first thing you want to do is take your disconnect turn your power off all right so we got the panels off of the equipment. Now I'm gonna show you the contents of the box and show you this back plate right here is off the thermostat. You can see there's no place for thermostat wires. It is truly wireless and that is really nice. You've got a sensor here. This is a little cover for that sensor. And then our board, you can see the return air sensor. This is where that sensor hooks up. If it is communicating, that's A, B, C, D. We've got our equipment. This is where our thermostat wires will terminate. And this right here is our power that powers this board. And that also comes from our equipment. So this is the content. Let me show you. The equipment's panels are off. This is the return. We'll probably mount the board in here as well as the return air sensor, or we'll choose to mount the board here and run our wires from our thermostat connections this is our thermostat connections right here looks like we've got common Y call for heating red and then we've got our fan and then our white this is for our heating so this is all we need let's go ahead and install this board is mounted right here in the electrical compartment of this equipment this rooftop package gas unit and here are our thermostat wires we're gonna be connecting those to the board right here from here down so I got the return air sensor mounted right here. Wire is gonna run up and then you can see down here through this compartment and then to our board. And you can see our thermostat wires here are connected into our board, common red, W, Y, G. And then our two wires for our return air sensor are connected. So now we're gonna secure everything, use some zip ties, make it nice and neat. And then we'll go down and we will mount our thermostat wherever our thermostat is going to be located. All right, so now that we've got the board installed and the return air sensor and everything is ready to be connected, now we go through the connection process. First thing we do is we put the batteries in the wireless thermostat. And then let me show you the button we're going to push. This right here is the connect button. Now, last time this was installed, the technician was able to actually have the thermostat up here to push the connection button. There's a connect button you push on the thermostat itself. And he was able to actually connect it up here and then walk down go inside the building and then mount the thermostat. So what that tells me is there is a very far distance that can be between the actual control, this board up here and the thermostat, which is really cool because that's more convenient. Now you have 30 minutes, once you push the connect button up here, you have 30 minutes that you have to push a button, otherwise it's gonna time out. 
All right, so we're gonna turn the power on. Boop. So now we have power. We're gonna, gonna put the batteries in our thermostat now. And you can see the holder for the batteries. It comes right out of that thermostat, which makes it more convenient. And then, boop, put it in there. It's powered on, yay. We're gonna push the button on our EMI here and we're gonna wait for the green flashing light. Once we got the green flashing light, then we're gonna to begin to link devices. Now make sure you consult the installation guide so that you know the exact steps. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the next button here, okay? Until it says connect. And when it says connect, then we're gonna be able to push connect here, okay? Now if you push connect and then you have an error, you're gonna to want to read this guide because there is, page 14 shows you error codes. Now this means that we're not two feet away from the EMI that's the error code that we're getting. So you wanna make sure that you push cancel and then you gotta wait and make sure the green light's flashing, which it is. Go ahead and push connect again and it's gonna say wait and then it's going to connect. Connected, perfect. And that's how you connect your device to your EMI, your little board here. And now the unit's coming on and heating because of course it's set to heat. Got the cover on. Now we're gonna put all the panels back on. And Pause this video to bring you another video that you could probably watch. I actually fixed this micro channel coil maybe a year and a year and a half ago. If you wanna learn how to fix a micro channel coil instead of having to replace it, check out that video I did. Link will be in the description if you wanna check out that video. But that saved the customer thousands of dollars. Now we're going to install this Honeywell wireless thermostat kit on this equipment. So we've got the second Honeywell wireless thermostat kit installed. You can see there's the return air sensor. We, will, we were able to mount this board right next to our uh, control board for this York unit. So we've got everything connected. And the reason we're doing this is because the thermostats for all these units are not located in the zones that they're conditioning. So when you have a thermostat that's not located in the zone that the equipment is conditioning, then sometimes you might not have the unit run when it needs to run. Now we'll have a more accurate temperature in the zones that those thermostats are controlling and this equipment will keep that zone more comfortable because what was happening is they were having uh, hot and cold spots. So this is a good way for us to be able to eliminate that problem. Connected. We're done with the second setup. Now let's go put this thermostat where it's gonna be located. So in this room, in the back of this building is where the thermostats were located. Now, let me show you where they're gonna be located. This is the ductwork for the back unit, and this is the ductwork for the middle unit. And these are the two units that we just put those wireless kits on, and now they're gonna be located in this room, the thermostats, right here so nobody can get to them easily and the main people who are in charge of controlling these thermostats will be able to see this and control the temperature. Now both of our thermostats have been relocated and now they're in the space that the equipment is conditioning. Now that we've installed the Honeywell wireless thermostat kit, we're gonna be able to increase the comfort of this building because before where the thermostats were located, there's a six degrees temperature difference. So now that we have them located right underneath where the equipment's located, and it's actually in the conditioned space, we're gonna have better comfort, and we should have better efficiency for that equipment, because now we're reading the right temperature. Now we're gonna go over the Red Link internet gateway. This right here is the internet gateway tool, an ethernet cord, and then a power adapter. So you'll need the power adapter to plug into a wall socket to power this internet gateway and then this ethernet cord will have to be connected to a internet connected home router. So let me show you how to install this Red Link internet gateway system now. All right, so we've got the power adapter right there connected to our internet gateway and we've got our ethernet cord here connected to their router. So we've got some uh, little holders on the back so we'll be able to actually put a couple screws and mount this safely and securely on this post here. Yes. Now we're gonna connect this to our thermostats. 
The MAC ID and MAC CRC found on the bottom of the device are used to register the gateway at mytotalconnectcomfort.com. So you can get the device, you'll be able to get the MAC ID, and it also comes with this card here that shows us the MAC ID, okay? So don't forget that. You need to register your device, use that website to do it with, and then you can see right there it has a MAC ID. Perfect. All right, I'm going to get this secured and move forward. So make yourself a template. This right here is just a piece of paper. Put it right on top and we're able to see through basically uh, to be able to mount our screws properly so they'll line up. Put one screw here. Okay, and then put one screw here. There you go, and that's a template. Now you can take this, mount it here on the post, and then we can make our two holes with our screws. So it's a good way for you to make your own template. All right, it's mounted. Beautiful. Got some green lights, so we got internet. So with the Red Link Internet Gateway, you need to make sure you read this installation manual because if you don't read the instructions, you're not going to know if what you have is compatible or not. It says if the thermostat is linked to an HZ322 or a 432 zone panel with the THM, then the zone panel is the host. It says if the thermostat uses EIM, then the EIM is the host. So you got to make sure you read this. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know who you are and where you're from down in the comment section. If you have any questions, please ask me the questions. I am here to help and those questions can turn into content that's able to help you in the field to become a better service technician. If you need help with your project, you need help with tech support, don't forget to join. Become a member. If you support me, I support you. Right now, there's also a level four membership. So if you want a call me anytime access, you can get that through joining and becoming a level four member right now. You can get my phone number, you can call me anytime you want, and I'll help you to be able to handle your projects, to be able to help you with service in the field as an HVAC technician. I'm Tad, you've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians, and I'll keep you cool if you let me. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell, ding, before you leave. That helps my channel to be seen by more people who need help, and it helps me to grow. Thank you for your support, appreciate my viewers, my subscribers, and definitely my members. Let's go.